This is Sean with The Prepared Homestead, and today I wanted to talk to you about estimating the amount of uh, snow load that is on your roof, okay? What, what today's video is not is how to calculate what your roof can handle or anything like that. Um, hopefully you know that information. And with that, the same thing applies to all of your outbuildings, all your structures. It's important to understand the capacity of each of those so that you can understand whether or not you need to scrape snow off um, and that kind of thing because the last thing you want is, is for, for buildings to collapse based on that. Now with that in northern climates most structures at least homes are built to withstand lots of snow load that's the good news and so if, if I just give you an example here so like this we built this little you know woodshed here and it's doing just fine with our current snow load no problems um, and even our, our, our chicken heated greenhouse, we don't pull snow off it at all. It just comes off. But there's other structures like uh, this hoop coop over here. That's just a cattle panel hoop coop. And then down there, you, you can see kind of by the goats is what we call our sheep shelter. Um, those types of things we do have to scrape snow off because they can't handle a lot of snow load. Oh, but here's a quick way of, of being able to tell how much weight is on your roof so that you can rest easy all right it's important to understand that because if you don't know you're just going to be freaking out going oh, i need to get all the snow off all right now there's a big difference between snow that light snow wet snow and ice okay and obviously the wetter the snow the more ice the heavier it is so what we have here is just a quick estimation tool and you can use a yardstick that's totally fine i just marked the bottom and then i measured um, i just you know use the tape measure to, to figure out what what the depth is so this is one feet two feet three feet etc so the first thing you need to do is just get just to get an idea of what what is your snow pack on the ground near the home and that's going to give you a good estimation of, of how what the depth is on the roof okay so you're taking basically a, a sample close to the roof to understand what this what the snow load is so if we take this this is the bottom and we kind of just uh, stick it in. I know that right here. It's just just over two feet right there. Okay, so we're gonna understand that we're we're gonna take a sample of of two feet, and we might even round up just a little bit because that's a good thing to do. But generally speaking, what you want to do is just take a vertical column of snow from the ground around your area. Now, try to make sure it's not a snowdrift type area. Uh, so that you can get a, uh, an accurate representation. All right, so if we try to look at that, we, we want, again, this vertical column. You know, again, it's, it's, it's kind of here. All right, now, again, we're, gonna, we're just doing an estimation, okay? So if I could take that column, I'm going to do, do that, and I'm going to put them in these buckets. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let it melt. We're going to bring it up to an area that's, that's warm. We're going to let it melt, and then we're going to weigh it. And that's going to give us the, the approximate weight of that column which then we can transfer as the approximate snow load that's on our roof okay so let me just do that real quick Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this inside, let it melt down, and then weigh it. And as you can see here, no, it is absolutely not a perfect one by one. But it's close. It's going to be an approximation. So um, after this melts, we'll make sure that we, we, we talk about the numbers and, and, and how, that, how then we can apply that to our thinking on the roof and whether or not we need to worry about our outbuildings and things like that. All right. All right, so now that we have our snow set aside here, I was going to wait for all of it to melt, but I'm not going to because, uh, well, waiting for it to melt just makes it easier. You put it all in one container and you weigh it. That's okay. We'll just weigh it in two containers. So we have a simple scale here, and again, we're doing approximations, and so we want to see how much, how much weight is on our roof, you know, as far as pounds per square feet. So let's take a look. So number one, let's get this scale all set. 
We'll take a look here. So it's set at zero. We weigh the one bucket. 11.6. Okay, and 12.4. Okay, so 11.6 plus 12.4 is 24 pounds. So now I'm not I'm not even subtracting the weight of the containers negligible, but we want to be safe anyway. So we can safely assume that that 24 inch um, column of snow on a roof per square foot is about 24 pounds. And that's, that's really kind of estimating up a little bit. Because on our roof, the snow tends to blow off. It's more exposed uh, to, to air and wind. So it tends to blow off a little bit more. All right, so we can safely say, okay, there's 24 pounds per square foot on our roof right now. I know our roof is rated at, at 60 pounds per square foot. So it's not even a problem. We'd have to go almost triple the amount of snow in this capacity uh, to be a problem. Um, and, and that is to say that when we say that a roof is 60, it's rated at 60 pounds per square feet, per square foot, sorry, that it's not gonna collapse at 60 pounds, it's gonna be something much higher than that. So now if it rains, if it rains and it's cold temperatures and then it freezes, that will add weight quickly. If this was ice, that would be a lot heavier. So you have to keep all these things in mind, but this is a very simple way to get an approximation of how much weight per square foot is on your roof. That's it.